Hello, and tonight, today, we are talking about soulmate and twin flame recognition. So in other words, how you can recognize a soulmate or twin flame when one comes into your life. I'm Sophia, and I'm here with Sarah. Hello. Hello. So our clients ask us all the time, you know, how to recognize their soulmate or twin flame, or if they've met their soulmate or twin flame, and we kind of find it a little odd that they ask us this question because when you encounter a soulmate or twin flame for the first time, it's such a profound experience that you can't miss it. There's no way you can miss it. And most people that we've spoken to have a hard time articulating or explaining to us what they felt when they met their soulmate or twin flame and what was triggered within them when their paths first crossed. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. You will never have to worry about like this way. Some of our clients do that, you know, you're going to meet a soulmate or a twin flame and either, you know, fail to recognize them or they won't recognize you or that you guys will just pass on the street. When spiritually connected couple, when they first meet, the chemistry between them is blatantly apparent. They feel it instantaneously and intensely. A lot of times, even the people around them often, you know, realize that there's like a spark and it's been ignited between these two, and they may even make remarks about it. Sure, you may have had chemistry with someone else previously, but trust me, not like this. Not like when you meet a soulmate or a twin flame. Normally, when people first meet, there can be a bit of awkwardness until you really get to know the person. Rarely is this the case with soulmates and twin flames. Right from the start, they both feel at ease with one another. There's just, it's just so easy to have a conversation and it's easy to let your guard down. And that usually only comes with knowing someone for a long time. Even though it may normally take both members of the couple, like, a long time to let their guard down and be vulnerable with someone, you know, and they really have to know them for a long time before they will, Mm -mm. happens right away with soulmates and twin flames. And we hear from our clients all the time, over and over again, how they and their spiritual partner, their soulmate or twin flame, Tell one another things that they've never told another person in their lives. Not their mother, not their sister, not their best friend, not their dog, no one. And they go on to say how they feel safe doing so right away. It, it's just a safe environment, kind of like it feels like coming home. That's how you can recognize a soulmate or twin flame. This often leads to spiritually connected couples talking each other's ears off when they first meet. They want to share everything about themselves and they also want to learn everything about their partner and they want to do it right now all at once. And you'd be surprised how many first conversations between soulmate and twin flame couples last hours and hours, some probably even last for days, and neither one of them want to end the conversation. The way... Mm, yeah. And even people that don't like normally talking on the phone, like they'll find themselves saying like, I never talk on the phone yet they're with their soulmate or twin flame. You know, they can be on the phone with them for, you know, two hours, three hours, constantly and continually, especially in the beginning. The way the couple meet also seems to be as though it was predestined as if destiny lends a hand in their meeting. And very often, the universe has to move a bunch of chess pieces around like we're the chess pieces on the board to make this meeting happen. Fate steps in to allow the two of you to meet in a way that can't be denied. For a lot of soulmates and twin flames, without this divine intervention, the meeting would not have happened. It seems as though it was meant to be, and it was. The meeting between the soulmate and twin flame couple is definitely meant to be. Mm-hmm. And another way to you know, recognize that you've met a soulmate twin flame is because twin flame and soulmate couples mirror one another. They have many similar values, opinions, and even personalities. 
as the couple gets to know one another, they see many synchronicities in their lives. Like they may have both went to the same grade school at the same time, yet they never met, only to meet several states away years down the road. And you both feel with your soul connection, you know, to each other, unlike anyone else on the planet. People you have known for years, grown up with, you know, your special cousin or, you know, your best friend or whatever, nothing comes close to this feeling of belonging with a soulmate or twin flame. It just feels right deep in your soul as if your soul and theirs just clicked and fit together perfectly like puzzle pieces. And although the mind may be doubtful of this connection at times, the soul is always sure. Absolutely. And another way to recognize a soulmate or twin flame is the unconditional love the couple have for one another. Okay. Many people have never either had the experience of loving someone unconditionally or being loved unconditionally. And when you're with a soulmate and twin flame, soulmate or twin flame, you are both experiencing the giving and receiving of unconditional love. And um, something else, uh, signs, songs, and symbols become part of your journey together. Yes, of course, there's the 1111, the most common soulmate twin flame number, okay? But each couple will also have their own unique numbers, you know, like 423. It it may mean something to a couple or any symbols or songs or signs that have a specific and meaningful meaning to just the two of them. It could be their birthdays, their anniversary. It could be lucky numbers. It could be a specific location or song or anything else that signifies something important to the couple, okay? Let's say, for instance, they have a fight and, you know, there has to be a cooling off period. So one walks into a store and the other turns on the radio and both hear their song, their special song at the exact same time. So these signs and symbols are used to give hope and comfort and to serve as a reminder to the connection this couple shares. The messages will bring, help them on their soulmate or twin flame journey. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for telepathy and empathy. Not all couples have this extra bonus gift, but many do. The couple can hear one another's thoughts and feel their emotions. The good side of this is the couple has a deeper level of understanding one another and can also learn and know the needs of their partner without them saying a word. The bad side of this is that, you know, there are already very intense emotions and these can be easily misread and cause misunderstandings or misplaced emotions. Dreams are also another sign you have met your soulmate or twin flame. You may have dreamed of one another prior to, you know, your first encounter, your first meeting. You may have had the same dreams as one another at the same time, either recurring or, you know, just like a one-off. When the couple is in separation, they often have dreams of one another. Within these dreams are often messages to help them, you know, reconcile or give awareness as to what the other is feeling or experiencing, you know, during the time that they're apart. So now we turn it to you, our audience. How did you recognize you found your soulmate or twin flame? What were the signs that you saw? We have a YouTube channel, Soulmates Twin Flame. No, is it tw- it's Twin Flames Soulmates? No, Tara, it's right? Soulmates Twin Flames. Tar- <laughs> it's, it's so. Oh my gosh! It's Soulmates. Twin flames, tarot. Soulmates, cool. one word. Twin flames, two words, tarot. Okay? okay. Four well, words altogether. They can altogether. look it up on YouTube. Yep. And they can find the video and they can share their experiences and, and ask any questions or whatever that they'd like from there. Oh, and be sure to like and subscribe. Please. And also, you can get to any of our social media. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's listed in the description below. If you're listening to this on the podcast, Um, Just go to soulmatereading.com and in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the links to all of our social media as well as to our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. Bye guys. Bye. 
you don't have to have